everyone, David Bayless here, BM Pro Ambassador, and this afternoon we're gonna go through some tech tips on our Mini Boost Pro, providing we don't get blown away. So excuse a little bit of background noise, but we'll get straight into it. All right, now, a really key thing that people have gotta be aware of with the Mini Boost Pro, our new DC-DC charger, is that it has a common earth. So you've got one cable coming out the back here, and that's the common negative. It's the common earth for the auxiliary, for the solar, and also the battery which is being charged. So now on all of the positive lines, good electrical wiring would dictate you put fuses onto each of them. So we'd be suggesting you put a 30 amp fuse onto the positive side for your solar and your auxiliary and also your secondary battery, just as good practice. Now, of course, the, one of the big things you've got to make sure of is that your wiring is of the right diameter, all right? It's the right thickness. Because otherwise, if it's too skinny, you're going to get too much resistance. And if it's too long, you're also going to get voltage drop. So you don't want those. So make sure that you refer to your wiring diagrams and you make sure that you calculate your appropriate amount of voltage drop that you're going to get. And also make sure you use a thick enough cable so that you're going to get as much charge through coming at one time. Now, this is a custom designed solar regulator inside here. So not only will it charge from auxiliary, being from your alternator from your car, but also from solar. Now, it's not one of those PWMs and it's not an MPPT, but we've designed our own proprietary solar regulator that performs just as well as what an MPPT regulator does in certain conditions. So like an MPPT, it's designed to work in different conditions to be able to maximize the amount of energy you're gonna get. Our solar regulator does exactly the same. In fact, it will deliver for you up to 30 amps, okay? So you'll get up to 22 amps when it's being charged from the car. So it is a 30 amp charger, but it blends between the solar and the auxiliary to get up to that 30 amps. Or if you've got enough panels out there, it'll just be 30 amps on its own. Now, it's not designed for under the bonnet. This one's designed for going back in the caravan, back next to the BP35 or the J35. Or if you're not running any of those, it goes with the, in the boot of the car, um, in, the, in the back of the ute, uh, as part of the setup that you might have as you're traveling around there. So it acts as a normal DC-DC there. So now it's got a battery chemistry wire. So from a tech tip, people, make sure this green wire here, which you'll find in your manual, is to exactly where to wire it to, but this controls your battery chemistries. So this has got, if somebody says that their battery is not getting charged properly, so tech tip, why is my battery not getting charged properly? It's probably because they haven't wired in this green wire to where it's supposed to go. Now we sometimes put it on a positive line, a negative line, a solar line, and all of that, that will dictate as to what chemistry we are charging, what algorithm we are using for actually charging this with, all right? Now the other wire out of here, which is another important one, this is your ignition wire. So what we recommend with the ignition wire is that you, if it's being wired, for example, in the back of a car or in the back of a ute, in the back of the toolbox there, is that you wire this blue cable into the ignition line. And what that does is instead of having to put an isolator in there, the unit will not charge from auxiliary if it does not see a signal on this blue line. So if you haven't got that wired in, it won't charge from the auxiliary when it's in the back of the car. But of course, if it's in the caravan down the back there, you don't need to worry about it. You don't need to run the blue wire. So tech tip, do I need to run the blue wire all the way up back up into the caravan? No, you don't, because when you get to a caravan site and you disconnect the Anderson plug, you're not going to be needing any ignition switch anyway, so it's not going to be able to drain the battery. So the idea is to stop it from draining the car battery. All right, so that's what you're using it for. So the tech tip is, if you want to prevent it, not run an isolator and prevent it from draining your car battery, the blue wire is the one which you're going to wire in, okay? It's a really simple instruction, a really simple installation. So just refer to the diagram which is in the manual. You can pick up that online, no problems whatsoever. Now, one other tech tip on the solar side is that it will handle up to 360 watts of panels. Okay, so it's only going to do a maximum of 30 amps, so don't try and overload it. But 30, 360 watts of panels, and it must be less than 25 volts. If it goes over voltage, you'll get a fault indicator. There's a range of indicating lights on the front here. Refer to your manual. But if somebody says it's not working, it could be because it's getting a, a higher voltage or higher amount of amperage as to what it should be. All right, there you go. Should have everything you need now. Really simple, DC-DC, Mini Boost Pro from BM Pro.